Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new, my name is Bobby and the Ramadan Mubarak everyone. Guys, this is the third video in the Ramadan series. The first video discussed the basics of nutrition and how to keep disciplined during Ramadan. The second one was more sports scientific if you will, it discussed when to train, how to hydrate, when to eat, etc. So after posting those two first videos, you guys asked me how I will actually train during Ramadan. Today I'm not going to discuss how I'm going to train Jiu Jitsu, that could be potentially another video. Today we're just going to talk about bodybuilding and fitness. As I mentioned already in my first videos, this is a time of spirituality, so therefore physically this will be a time of maintenance. It won't be a time of bulking, it won't be a time of excessive shredding either, it will be a time of maintenance for me. And therefore, in order to maintain my muscle mass, I don't have to do too much. Two workouts per week will be sufficient. If I really want to go after it, I can add a third one. But two is absolutely enough for me personally to maintain my muscle. So therefore, how will I train on those two days? Because it's just two days, I'm obviously not going to do a split. It will be a full body workout in those two days. And again, because this full body workout will be for maintenance, I don't have to go crazy. All I have to do is give the muscle an impulse that there are needed. Maybe you heard about the saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. And this, of course, applies to the muscles especially. However, yet again, I don't have to progressively overload to stimulate further growth. No, I just have to stimulate enough so they maintain. And therefore, I'm going to do one to two exercises per muscle group. I'm going to start with back training and I'm going to do simple lat pull downs. Then depending on how I feel, I might add some bent over rows or any other rowing exercise. Then I'm going to move on to chest. I'm simply going to do bench press. I'm going to warm up with push-ups and then I'm going to do bench press. If I feel particularly strong on that day, I might add in an isolation exercise such as the butterfly. Then I'm going to be moving on to arms and this can be done in a superset. I might do biceps curls and triceps push downs just alternating in a superset. One exercise for biceps, one exercise for triceps back to back. Like that I'm going to be done in five minutes basically with arms. Then I'm going to do one exercise for shoulders and or traps, probably simple shrugs or dumbbell flies to isolate the shoulder. Then I'm going to move on to legs, where I'm going to do light to medium squats, maybe the leg press or something isolated depending on the day, depending how I feel yet again. And then I'm going to do some abs and that already wraps it up. Yes, this is it. I know it's not very spectacular. People always look for some spectacular fancy workout. No, this is completely enough to give enough stimulus to the muscles in order to maintain them. Yeah, I know, it's a pretty big letdown. Bobby gives you a very, very boring workout here. But guys, again, man, the focus should be Ramadan and not the working out. I'm giving you a simple workout that will maintain your physique. Is that not enough for you? What else are you looking for? Again, as I said in previous videos, you have 11 months to build your body. If you didn't build it in 11 months, you're not going to build it in one month either, man. The time is done now. Focus again on your body once the Ramadan is over. But now this is a time to connect with Allah. This is a spiritual time and it's such a beautiful opportunity. And it's only once per year. You really have to get your priorities straight. And I really hope that the Ramadan will teach you that. Because once you redirect your focus onto God alone, this will teach you so much for the rest of the year. 
And moreover, you will understand how much time you're wasting. Because right now, during Ramadan, I hope you're doing your five prayers. So you have to meticulously plan when to pray and when to break your fast, when to stop eating, etc., etc. So inshallah, this will teach you already discipline that you can then use for the 11 months to come. 11 months is more than enough to build your body. If you think about a bulking phase, it can be half a year. A cutting phase can be three months. That is nine months and you should be already done and satisfied with your body. Then you can go into maintenance yet again. Anyways, I don't want to ramble on for too long. I'm fasting myself. I cannot drink. I cannot hydrate. So therefore, I'm going to cut off the video here. I believe you got the memo. This is the workout that I'm going to be doing twice per week to maintain my body. Do it like that and inshallah, your body will be preserved as well. However, for the last time, redirect your focus onto Ramadan. It is only once per year. Do not waste this opportunity. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. <laughs>